Right, it's nice and windy for this walk around. So this is a higher mileage example, I suppose, from a St. John's fleet disposal. It's done 221,000 miles, but it's still a running master. Uh, and you can see them with three, 400,000 miles with the original engine. So please do not fear. These diesel engines love the miles. Condition-wise, it looks like one that you'd expect to receive at about 100,000 miles. It really is in spectacular condition. The body works really good. Inside the cab, we've got everything. So upstairs, you'll notice down here, there's usually an aircon tab for in-cab air conditioning. What they've got on these is an additional air conditioning unit, and that feeds through the cab here and through here. So arguably better than aircon coming out of these vents here. So. That doesn't seem to be engaging. That's something we can definitely sort. Okay. So, we've got an inverter here. That then, so, pure sound wave, 1,000 watt. Not a great deal of power, but it's still an inverter. Here's a battery charger to charge the rear leisure batteries. Of course, that requires you to hook up on the side. That draws in the 240 volt power, convert it to 12 volt to charge the batteries in the back. Here's your consumer unit. So, there's no side step on this particular vehicle. You can just hear I've got the 90s running, blowing out warm. That's controlled by this dial here and isolated by this dial here. Now, I'm wondering if the air conditioning isn't working because the heat is on and the air con button isn't selected. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and press that. And then I'm going to come through this little window here, if I can, if you'll let me. Usually it does work. Right, no such thing as a shortcut. So now I've got that selected. It's blowing. You hear that? Told you we could get that sorted. Right. That's how sophisticated these vehicles are. In fact, in the older Papworths, the one that's just behind there, they're that sophisticated that if the door is open in the back, the air conditioning will not work. So if the side door's open, the aircon won't work. Not in this case. So you've got some 240 volt outlets there. The batteries that I was on about is kindly labeled auxiliary batteries. That's there. More than likely will require replacing, by the way. Now that's the sort of thing you expect on these ambulances. Traditionally, when I find them, yeah, the batteries aren't serviceable. And for a camper conversion, you want to get fresh leisure batteries in there anyway. 10 minutes of talking there because my phone memory ran out once again. So I think I was discussing the batteries and saying that it will want replacing and virtually all of the vehicles you get um, off the services, they want changing because you want a battery you can rely on when you're out exploring the world. So I think after I did that, I was talking about the ramp here, which is already in now at the start of the video it was out, but there you have it, so press the out button, comes out. And of course, if we just check here, the air suspension is up. So, I just set this up, like so. Press the button over here. Suspension down. Just makes that gracefully dropping to the floor. that so come back around press the suspension again well i have to put the ramp in first put the ramp in first and then press the suspension button back up you'll hear the compressor kicking in and just like that it's back up in the air also has a winch did try it on the controller a minute ago during the original video that was lost and that doesn't seem to be doing anything but once again, usually the custom base that we get, take them out. I don't know what I haven't, 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 haven't said. So you've also got air conditioning here at the back. That blows out here. Quite a nice skylight, actually. As you can see here, you can see the Rockwell insulation. By the way, it's nice and dry. Um, and what would usually be here is some lights, but when we receive the vehicle, 
they had been removed. So there's the feed in for the lights and they're controlled by these buttons here. So what can you do? Well, we can put some um, traditional ambulance lights in if that's what you wanted. Um, but we have left them blank because a lot of our customer base tend to put new lights in. So they, they usually get rid of the old ambulance looking ones, which I'll just demonstrate to you. This one here's a slightly different conversion, but they're essentially those in the ceiling. Um, yeah, so give us some feedback on that. What, what do you like? Say the bodywork is really good. There's a little slight bit of damage on the near side. It's quite heavy that. You can see quite a lot of that sound on these fans. There is an advisory on the tyres on the front for perishing. And I would say on a scale of one to five, I'd give that a three. It's fair. The tread's really good on those tyres, it's a shame. Completely serviceable for another MOT though, because the MOT does run out in June. That would pass this MOT, it would be a buy once again. Right, back, stuck into the bonnet. So, this is a huge bonus of this vehicle. Just pour it open the bonnet. Once you open the driver's door, you're welcome with this sticker. You can get the uh, iPad in. So, timing belt. 22nd of, I'm trying to spell and read that, I think it's February 2020, 216, 127 miles, so not that long ago at all. So, that's what try home about, because that's a few pounds saved, peace of mind. And also, the oil and all the filters look new on it as well. So, Huge bonus, worth buying this vehicle. It's a good example, I think it's great value for money. Um, yeah, buy a question.